Hi, I'm Stephanie Ferris, and I wrote the book Finding Normal. It is a middle grade novel about a 12 year old girl who has to re examine everything she thought she knew about life when her house floods and they have to evacuate. And for today's read aloud, I'm going to be reading a section where Temple is awoken in the middle of the night by her mom because the floodwaters are coming their way. So I hope you enjoy today's read aloud. In her dream, someone was pressing on her arm, then saying her name. She looked around, but she was standing alone in the gym at school. Temple? Temple, you have to get up. Temple's eyes popped open. Was it morning already? It was still dark in her room. This was weird. Then she saw her mom standing over her. No, this wasn't just weird. This was scary. Something was wrong. Sitting up in bed, Temple looked around her bedroom. Everything still seemed normal. All the possible scenarios went through her mind. Fire? Something was wrong with her dad or sister. Oh no, she hoped nothing was wrong with her dad or sister. What, Temple asked, why? We're being evacuated. Evacuated? Why? Was something happening to their house? She'd heard the word fumigating on TV when people had to live, leave their house temporarily because of bugs, but they didn't have bugs. And even if they did, they wouldn't need to leave in the middle of the night without warning, right? Just put some clothes on and meet us at the front door. I'm going to get your sister. That was all her mom said before rushing out of Temple's bedroom. Temple picked up her phone. The bright light hurt her eyes and she blinked. No messages. Not that someone would text her, you're being evacuated in the middle of the night. It was 2.27 in the morning. Whatever was happening, it was serious. But if they were evacuating, where were they going? Temple changed from her butterfly pattern pajamas into jeans and a t-shirt. At the last minute, she grabbed a cardigan sweater. It had been pretty warm lately, but she had no idea what the weather was like at 2 in the morning. She'd never even been outside at 2 in the morning in her entire life. Mom and Kennedy were at the front door. Temple noticed that her mom had her purse and her laptop bag, along with a tote bag. Wait, were they going somewhere that required staying until morning? I have to get my clothes for tomorrow, Temple said, turning to go back to her bedroom. But her mom was shaking her head. There's no time, we have to go. We'll come back once they've cleared the neighborhood. Cleared the neighborhood? Cleared it of what? Let's go. Mom opened the main door and the screen door, then rushed out. Temple stalled in the doorway, squinting out at the driveway. The rain was still coming down, but not as hard as it had been when Dad had returned from work last night. Dad's SUV was in the driveway, headlights already on. Mom was getting Kennedy situated in the back seat. Do I lock the door? Temple shouted, but her mom didn't respond, so she pulled the door shut and stepped out onto the porch. This was weird. Her parents always locked the door. There was no time to stand there and wait for an answer though. Not if she didn't want to get drenched. Temple rushed to the SUV and went to the driver's side, climbing in behind her dad. You didn't lock the door, Temple said as she fastened her seatbelt. Her mom was already belted into the front passenger seat. Oh, mom and dad exchanged a look. Temple frowned. They seemed to be weighing locking the door against getting out of here faster. What was going on? Finally, mom got out and ran for the door, keys in hand, and locked it. Temple felt bad for not locking it behind her, but she couldn't have locked the deadbolt, just the doorknob part of it, since she didn't have her house key on her. Their single-story house looked so normal. It was like any other night. Only on any other night, she'd still be sleeping. As they pulled out of the driveway, Temple looked at her phone. Nothing going on at this time of day, of course. She wanted to text Billy and Aaron and tell them what was happening. They'd think it was so cool she was evacuating in the middle of the night. It sounded a lot more exciting than it actually was. Can we drive through it? The concern in mom's voice snapped Temple's head up. She craned her neck to see out the windshield and her jaw dropped. They were approaching the same stop sign they saw every single morning. Thousands of times they'd stopped here and never ever had there been a lake around it. Okay, so lake might have been an exaggeration, but there was definitely a pretty big puddle on the road. Temple remembered something she'd seen on the news. 
You're not supposed to dri drive through water like that, she blurted. It's dangerous. Dad looked in his rearview mirror. I can't back up. There are cars behind me. Temple turned. Wow. He was right. There was a line of cars behind them, pairs of headlights as far as the eye could see. The neighbor said this is the only way out, Dad said. We have to go. I hope you've enjoyed this slight section of, of the book, Finding Normal. Mm -hmm.